As many of you guys know, Star Atlas promises to be one of the most ambitious metaverses that has been dreamed up so far. Visually, it is promising the absolute world it is gonna be a game developed in Unreal Engine 5, and based on all of the things that we've seen so far, all of the teaser images and stuff like that, it looks to be like picture realistic, and this has a ton of people excited about Star Atlas. Also, I have made a lot of videos about Star Atlas and like the white paper uh, is just super in depth. The gameplay uh, looks like it's going to be really fun. And the way that the, the team, the, the way that Michael Wagner, the CEO, and some of the other founders talk about this project, you just cannot help but get excited by just thinking about the potential. So in this video though, I want to talk about an update on, on the reality of, okay, what's actually happening with the project. We're going to be looking at how the metaverse is actually developing. We're going to be looking at like what progress the team has been making. And we're going to be taking, you know, a little look at, at an update on, you know, when this game might actually release. So if that sounds good to you, remember to drop a big thumbs up on this video as that will help out on the YouTube algorithm. We really appreciate it. And then also remember to hit subscribe and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all things Star Atlas and the future of the metaverse and the future of play to earn gaming. This video is sponsored by FTX, which has one of the best, if not the best crypto marketplaces and a brand new, super awesome NFT marketplace as well. If you're getting started in crypto, or in NFTs, FTX is the place to start, but more on that later. Let's get into it. All right, so just very, very quickly to catch everyone up to speed about what the ambition of Star Atlas is, they want to create a metaverse where people can like work, live, and play in this metaverse. When Michael Wagner talks about Star Atlas, he's talking about like people launching like full-time radio stations in the Star Atlas metaverse, and like there's already a newspaper launch, and like there are guilds that have millions of dollars of in-game assets already, and this game isn't even out yet. He's talking about people like throwing concerts in the metaverse and like some people's full-time jobs literally could potentially be like moving people from the place where people spawn, uh, like shipping them out to an asteroid where the concert is taking place and stuff like that. So like the ambition behind this game is, is just really, really mind blowing. And the quality behind everything that they've shown us so far is really, really mind blowing uh, as well. And yeah, as, as a player, there's gonna be so many different ways to play this game. And if you haven't seen one of my like just basic overviews of Star Atlas, I recommend checking one out. One will appear on the screen now and there will be some linked in the description below. And you can just watch and uh, like kind of see my overview of the white paper and learn about kind of the vast scope of what this game hopes to be. But now let's jump into what is actually happening in the roadmap and, and what's been going on. So there are five things that I wanna cover very quickly in this video. So the first thing is that ship sales just continue to happen. This game, Star Atlas, just continues to sell NFT ship after NFT ship. They had the whole ship miss thing over December. They keep having, you know, more and more ship launches. And uh, I, kind of am like too minded on this. In one side, I understand that this team has to keep raising money because the like the ambition of this project means that, that this is just gonna cost billions, literally billions of dollars to make this game. So if they are unable to raise, well, then the game is not going to release. But thankfully they have been having no issues raising. And yeah, this Star Atlas team is very, very well funded. In fact, one one of their recent developers who bought a bunch of ships in December was actually Animoca Brands, which is a really big kind of gaming brand that is trying to get into the metaverse and get into crypto games. And Animoca actually bought over $3 million worth of Star Atlas ship purchases in the Shipmas uh, December sales, which is pretty crazy. So this is just like a, a really bullish sign because a super credible uh, team 
team that does their due diligence and is like managing a lot of money, they're putting a lot behind Star Atlas. I think that that is a pretty bullish development uh, that happened recently. The second thing that I want to talk about here besides these continual ship sales is it is cool that they did release the Star Atlas mini game. Now, what I feel about the mini game is that it's it's not actually that fun. It's kind of more like interacting with a spreadsheet, I guess, where like you have your ship and it runs missions and it does return yield. Like there is actually really good earning potential here from these NFT ships already, uh, which is which is pretty cool. And I think that they definitely executed really fast and really well on giving your NFTs earnings potential. So two thumbs up to the team on that. But yeah, the game, it's its not really fun right now. It's its not really a game even, I would say. It is the mini game, but it's not in Unreal Engine and there's not really that many cool visuals or anything that happens like that. You're just refilling your ship, you're running missions, and then you're repairing and refilling your ship again, running missions, and you're rewarded with like more Atlas by doing the missions than it costs to like run the missions. So hopefully that makes sense and that's kind of just how it's set up right now. Obviously, the, the plan is that it's going to get a lot more complex and the full Unreal Engine 5 game is still on the way. But the third thing that I want to mention here, which kind of follows up on that earning, is that we have been seeing some falling prices in the value of Atlas and Polis. Atlas at one point was worth well over 20 cents. Now it is under 5 cents. Polis, uh, which is the governance token, um, is down a lot Two. I believe it was worth over 15 or, or, or 20 bucks and now it's like uh, two bucks or three bucks or something like that. So we have seen these coins pull back a ton. And uh, I do wonder if some of that pullback is the fact that, well, now people are earning a yield. So uh, the way that the, the tokenomics of Atlas and Polis work, if you don't know, is the inflation is really high the first number of years and then decreases over time, kind of in a reverse S curve. So we are gonna be seeing a lot more inflation inflation of Polis and Atlas, and it could continue to pressure the, the price of Polis and Atlas a little bit in the short term. But I think long term, when you're looking four, five, six, seven years out, the inflation is going to be dropping a ton. The actual game is going to be releasing. So I think this could be a, like a really, really great buying opportunity, especially for Polis, if you're thinking five, 10 years out. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. This is just my opinion. And I wanted to talk about the price of Atlas and All right, guys, I'm excited to interrupt this video with our sponsor today, which is FTX US. If you guys don't know, FTX is one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges in the world, and FTX US is a US regulated crypto exchange. The FTX app is probably the most complete crypto and NFT app in existence. And if you are new to crypto gaming or new to cryptocurrency or just want to upgrade, then I highly recommend recommend downloading the FTX US app. They have a lot of Ethereum NFT collections. They have a lot of Solana NFT collections and just like a lot of the top NFTs are on the FTX marketplace. Plus FTX has the cheapest fees out of any crypto exchange in existence. So you really can't beat that. Plus FTX is super awesome. I love the CEO. Plus the fact that, you know, they're kind of helping support on-chain gaming by sponsoring this video. So make sure you guys download the app or just check out the web app in the description below. If you guys do sign up through our referral link, you'll be getting 5% of your fees back. And like I said, it's already the lowest fees out of any crypto exchange. So then getting 5% percent back is like a big bonus on top of that. So highly recommend you guys check it out. Enjoy FTX's top tier exchange. Now back to the video. The fourth thing that I want to mention in this video about Star Atlas is that we really need gameplay. We just, I think that we need to see some like real gameplay trailer, some real gameplay footage. Now, I don't want to rush the development team on this because like, that they are working hard and this is a, a fairly new project and like this is gonna be years and years out yet before we get the full game. Um, so so we are where we are in development and, and you can't change that uh, besides just like continuing to move forward. Uh, but one thing that has made me feel a little bit like strange is that I've been trying to get an interview because I want to interview like one of the developers that's actually like an Unreal Engine 5 developer that's working on Star Atlas 
guests, but I cannot get an interview with anyone. Um, the, the lady that I was talking to, who was like the communications director between a lot of the YouTubers and the Star Atlas team, um, no longer works for Star Atlas. Um, but then I was messaging like just the CEO uh, directly on Twitter. And he was saying that, that no one is interview ready, I guess, who is like an actual Unreal Engine 5 developer. So that has me feeling a little bit unsafe settled, I guess, a little bit. Like there are big teams behind this. Like FTX um, has has launched a lot of uh, Star Atlas's stuff and FTX does a lot of great due diligence. We just saw Animoca Brands invest in Star Atlas. But like the fact that like none of the Unreal Engine 5 developers are, are interview ready, like I don't know what that means. Like I just wanna hear what the developers experience is. Like hear what games they made before this and hear that they are like excited about the promise that this game has and they're working hard on it. Like. That is all that I want confirmation of. But yeah, we really, really need to see a game plan. The final thing uh, that I wanted to mention in this video is that like we have been seeing like some snapshots of like what the inside of a hangar might look like. So that is some very promising visuals. The next big thing is gonna be when players who own ships in Star Atlas can actually see their ships inside hangars. That is gonna be just really, really cool. And, and one thing I do wanna note is that like these Star Atlas NFT ships, they're way cooler than most of these like collectible PNG NFTs and stuff that have no real utility, no real uses. Like these Star Atlas ships are cool. And when you can actually see your NFT ship in game in Unreal Engine 5, that is gonna be awesome. And that is gonna be coming very, very soon this year, in fact, which is gonna be a very bullish move on Star Atlas. So you probably won't hear another video from me on Star Atlas until this hangar is actually launched. But yeah, these are my current thoughts on Star Atlas. I think they're making some good progress. Uh, they're selling ships uh, really successfully. And I just wanna see some gameplay. When I start seeing some gameplay, I'm gonna start getting way more excited and way more bullish on Star Atlas again. I do own a lot of Atlas and a lot of Polis, and I'm not selling any of that, uh, just so that you kind of know where my biases are. Uh, Star Atlas isn't paying me for this video at all, um, but I am invested in the project because I see the potential of the metaverse. And I think that Star Atlas is one of those metaverses kind of in the crypto gaming space that has some of the most potential and most upside here because they've shown a lot of quality. So I'm excited for this one and I would love to hear your guys' thoughts about Star Atlas in the comments below. Uh, I'm sure that we'll get everything from this is a scam, uh, which I totally do not believe it is, to this is like the most world-changing thing ever, uh, which it might not be either, but you know, there's the potential. So let me hear what you guys think about Star Atlas in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this update video, remember to drop a big thumbs up if you want more update videos on Star Atlas and crypto gaming. And then if you watch this whole video and you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing? Make sure you hit subscribe and click that notification bell so that you do not miss any future content. My name is Jake. You can follow me on Twitter at Jake Browatsky. This channel on Chain Gaming is all about the future of play to earn games, but I don't make these videos by myself. Nate, my brother, edits these videos. Josh, our friend, does the original intro and outro music. Aaron, another one of my brothers, is the agent for on Chain Gaming. And yeah, this team could not make this content without your guys' support. So thank you so much, Patreon supporters, for supporting the creation of this content. And thank you all for watching and leaving thumbs ups. And until next time, have fun roaming the metaverse.